name is Haley and welcome to the Fairdale Library. Today we're going to have a garden story time. Before we begin, I want to start by stretching. So we're going to take our hands, we're going to hold them way up, and we're going to grab the top of the corn and not act like we're pulling it down. We're going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now we're going to pull the corn the carrots out of the ground. So we're going to touch the ground and act like you're pulling the carrots out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good job. And now I want to act like we're a worm, okay? And worms are wiggly. So can we wiggle? Oh, I'm a worm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna wave our hands and we're gonna sing our opening song. And it goes like this. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We jump and sing hello. We jump and sing hello. With the friends at story time, we jump and sing hello. Good job. Thank you. Today we are going to learn something very special. We are going to learn a word in American Sign Language, which is when, if you are deaf or hard of hearing, you use your hands to sign. So today we're going to learn how to sign garden. It's very easy. You're going to take your hands, you're going to hold them up, and you're going to act like they're little flowers or carrots or anything growing in the ground, and you're going to move your fingers. And then you're going to go around. So let's do that again or the flowers or the carrots, and then we're gonna spread it all around. Good job, thank you, that was great. Now we're going to read our book. The Bear's Garden by Marcy Colon, illustrated by Allison Oliver. That's a map. Can you see that? And there's our title again, The Bear's Garden by Marcy Colon. And if you look, we're looking down on a street. <clears throat> in the big bustling city, all the people were busy. They rushed up and down the street without seeing that some buildings needed paint, that some buildings were empty, that some buildings were gone. But in one girl's imagination, the city was a place to grow, a place to play, a place to love. She could always find beauty around her. There she is. It looks like it's a tomato plant. She set it on her windowsill and it's growing. One night, a girl's imagination spilled onto the sidewalk, rolled across the street and sprouted. A baby garden. When she spotted the seedling, she introduced herself with a how do you do and a garden party. <laughs> Look at the kitty back there. <clears throat> and that's how it went, day after day. No matter how fierce the sun or how swift the wind, the little girl watched over the seedling. I believe in you, she whispered every morning and every night. And now we have a flower. More seedlings soon grew. People rushing by began to slow down. First, with a tip of the hat or a nod of the head, People stopped to smile or say hello to the little girl with the tiny green friends. There's one, and there's one, and then they have the two small ones growing next to it. There came a time when the girl had to leave for a while. Without her care and without her love, she knew the plants would wither. She wanted to bring the garden with her, but it wasn't possible. She thought maybe she could whisper, I believe from far away, but she didn't have enough string. She tried employing a pigeon, but it was clearly not trained. Oh, he didn't go far. If the little girl could not take care of the garden, someone else would have to. Hmm. 
she filled her bear with cuddles and snuggles and stuffed him full of hope. She locked button eyes with him and whispered into his ear, this is a very special mission. Watch the garden until I get back. She kissed him on top of his head and left him to do his job. And then they're going away. From miles away, the girl imagined the garden was blooming. She imagined it could be a place to grow. A place to play. They're taking the fence down. And there's garden beds and she's playing. A place to love. And it was. Look at that, they're so tall and beautiful playing games together. The end. Please don't litter in my garden. Thank you. The bear's garden was so much fun. Now we're gonna pretend to be a little spider from that garden. Here's our spider, our water spout, our rain, our clouds, and our sun. So we're gonna take away the sun and the clouds and the rain. And now we're just left with our water spout. Okay. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun that dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. That was fun. Now we're gonna read One Little Lot, The One, Two, Threes of an Urban Garden, book by Diane Mullen, illustrated by Oral Vital. Let's see, there's just a plot. There's a couch and some tires, hmm. Doesn't look like a garden. One Little Lot, The One, Two, Threes of an Urban Garden. Every day the city is a buzz as silent strangers hurry by without a glance. One little lot sits abandoned in the hustle and bustle. Hungry honeybees buzz about searching for flowers to pollinate until two helping hands push open the rickety rusted fence. A visitor imagines what could be. Passerby stops to talk. Maybe, just maybe, they all say. Hmm. Three long days are spent together, prodding, pulling, and preparing. Old tires and broken bicycles are rolled away. Empty bottles are bagged up. One little lot is ready for what's next. Four planter boxes are installed in a straight and lovely line. Like magic, they are built from weathered wood and shiny screws. Hungry honeybees buzz around helping hands. Five. Five big bags of soil get emptied and edged into place. One little lot is rich with black gold. Worms wiggle around in this composted dirt. Be careful with the rakes. Six, plentiful seed packets are opened and shared. Neighbors sit side by side and gently tuck each seed into its new home. Grow, seeds, grow. Seven showers pour over each sprouting seedling. Thousands of drops of water make the garden's journey possible. Soon, rangy roots begin to stretch down, down, down. Eight rows line each planter box. Lush leaves reach up, up toward the shimmering sun. Hungry honeybees buzz about, pollinating many flowers until, hmm, nine prize plants burst into a beautiful bounty. Neighbors pick beans, bok choy, carrots and kale and cucumbers and tomatoes and kitli and peppers, Colored greens. T 
10 newfound friends clean and chop and pill. Together they cook and grill and saute. Hungry honeybees buzz around above scrumptious smells until, hmm, one little lot is full of delicious. Community dinner, all are welcome. Mmm, look at that, they're actually eating everything that they grew. And that all started from one little seed. Every day the city is a buzz as busy gardeners make a beeline to their one little lot. And there it is right there. The end. And the back has more information about urban gardening. Thank you. Do you want to know more about gardening? You can order book bundles at www.lfpl.org backslash book bundles and we can help you. Now let's go play. I got something really cool to show you. One Little Lot was such a great book. Now we're going to play in a garden and we're also going to count. We have rocks, some insects, a grasshopper, a garden snake. We have some vegetables with us today. We have some gloves, or water of course, a tray, our soil and our spade, and then we have some seeds. So first we're gonna put on our gloves. Here they go. One, and two. Hmm, I think we're missing some soil. So we're gonna use our spade and we're gonna put some soil right in our tray. One, two, three. Oh, is that enough? Mm, let's do one more. Four. Oh, we did four scoops. Okay. Let's put some rocks in there. One, and put one right there. Two, three, four, and five. We put them in the little side. Sometimes gardens have stones around the edge. Oh, okay. We need to dig a hole to put our seeds in so then we can play with our garden, okay? So we can use our fingers and we're just gonna poke a little hole. One hole, two, three four, five, and six. Okay, now we need some seeds. Here's our seeds for today. And we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze a few. We're just playing today, so we're gonna put a few in there, a few in there, we want them to really grow, okay? And we're gonna pretend that they're broccoli, tomato seeds, celery and corn, not just flowers. Okay, now we have to bury them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, what do we need now? Hmm, water. We need to spray because we need water for our seeds to grow. All right, so let's do a few sprays. We're gonna go one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Hmm. Now this is the most important part. We have to wait. Take seeds some time to grow. Hmm. Well, why don't we try something, okay? Let's snap our fingers. We're gonna go. <gasps> Wow, look, we have our flowers and our vegetables. Mm. We have a tomato and broccoli and celery, cauliflower and beans and our flowers. Oh, wow, okay. Mm. You know, if we had a garden like this, I think we would have maybe a grasshopper. Maybe he would come along and hop, hop, hop. Listen to me how many times that he hops through the garden. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he likes to hop. Hmm, maybe we would have a garden snake come through. He's a little big, but he's gonna slither through. Hmm, oh hi grasshopper. What are you doing? I've come to the garden. I like all the vegetables and flowers in the garden and all the worms and the bugs and the soil. Oh, me too. Very cool. All right, see you later. Bye, snake. Oh, how fun. You can do things like this at home. Maybe you don't have soil, but you can get dirt from outside. You can get rocks from outside. And maybe you can find your own vegetables at home, or you can make them out of paper. Hmm. Let me show you what we can do with our paper. So we're gonna put our cricket, our grasshopper back and our vegetables out. And let me show you. So maybe you don't have plastic vegetables, but maybe you have paper. You can cut paper out and you can color it or you can use construction paper. Make them big or make them small. You can even make the vegetables, but we made flowers today. And you can put them in your soil and you can have a beautiful garden where you can play with your bugs and maybe you don't have any bugs at home. You can always pretend to be a bug. Oh, let's use a different color. Let's do a pink, a peach. And you can play in your soil, move your rocks around. Let's move them around, let's put them right here. Oh, and we'll add another flower. Thank you for playing with me today. Now let's go read another story. Playing in the garden was so much fun. Now we're going to read Goodnight Veggies by Diane Murray and Zacharias O'Hara. Look at the worm. We were a worm earlier. Here's the front. It says Goodnight Veggies. Look at him hanging out with the beans. Sunset in the garden. Robins in their nests. Tossing, turning veggies need to get some rest. There he is. Oh, there he is. Turnips tucked in tightly. Potatoes closing eyes. Mm, so funny. Tuckered out tomatoes. Hmm. Humming lullabies. And there he is down there. Cuddly cauliflowers, droopy pods of peas. <laughs> Rhubars reading stories to worn out broccolis. Baby carrots snuggling, baby lettuce too. Look, he's reading. Love that, love it. Baby eggplants dreaming. of places far and new, going somewhere. Oh, so it looks like they're at the beach and they're in space. Cucumbers are calm, lined up nice and neat. Garden yams are still and beets are simply beet. Cabbages are nodding their leafy sleepy heads and radishes are dozing in cozy garden beds. Celery is snoring as sunset disappears. Cranky corn rolls over and covers up its ears. Every veggie snoozing beneath the moon so bright. For nothing's more exhausting than growing day and night. <laughs> He's sleeping. Aw, good night, sleepy vegetables. Sleep tight. 
Thank you for reading today with us all about gardens and worms and flowers and vegetables. Now I want to say goodbye. So take your hand and wave it and we're going to go. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With the friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With the friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye. With the friends at story time, we stomp and sing goodbye. We jump and sing goodbye. We jump and sing goodbye. With the friends at story time, we jump and sing goodbye. Bye.